Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to install different Java versions on the Mac OS system and easily switch them. I think this is a necessary step for most people who work with big data technology, which uh, mainly based on Java. This year, this kind of technology is suddenly exploding. So the Java development is extremely fast also, but it brings also a lot of problems with Java versions. Some software support the latest Java version, but most of them support a little older versions. So it's not a good idea to install only one version of Java on your local computer. You will always need different Javas. So in this video, I will show you how to do this. Suppose you have already installed the Homebrew and the Brew Cask. If you didn't install them, please go to Homebrew website. This is this one https brew.sh and install the homebrew with this code. After that, please go to uh, please open your terminal and please go install the cask, home ca homebrew cask. This one its installation is also very easy. Um, just uh, open your terminal. Just open your terminal and run um, brew tab cask room cask to install the brew cast. This is a third party software. Okay, I think you already installed them. Um, let's now begin the process. So first, what you need is add a repository for homebrew. Brew, tab, homebrew, cask, versions. This line code add the homebrew cask uh, uh, versions. Since I already installed the uh, brew cask uh, versions, so I don't need to install it again. We can search the Java version. Brew search Java. In the um, casks, we can see um, there is Java 6. Java 8 and Java, it should be Java 11. Now we can install Java 8. Brew cask install Java 8. Now we can install Java 11. Brew install Java. Now I can use Brew Search Java to find out how many Javas are installed. S simply Brew Search Java. You see, I installed Java 8 and Java. Now the Java installed, we need to install the Java pass. So uh, now I will use the Java tool to show the Java pass. It is under the pass user libx java home.
it will show you the default Java and you will see it is open JDK 11 now if you give the argument variables it will list all the Java you installed on your computer if you give the Java tool a version then it will show you the path of the Java for example I give now the 1.8 it will show you the Java 8 path now if you give the Java version 1.8.051 you will get the older version of Java I have early installed We see that here the value is usually depended on the uh, number in the path. Now, if you give the tool a uh, Java version 11, then you will get the uh, Java 11 path. Now, we can write a shell file and let the computer run it automatically. So, open, open the terminal. Now we can write a shell file to write a Java pass. Uh, let's open the finder. Go to this file, your home, and uh, a hidden shell file with bash profile open it and right click open with the text editor what you like so add the following rows into this file so let's explain what it means so this is export the java home We use this tool, the Java Pass tool, and specify the version 1.8. That's the default Java Pass. And uh, after that, we make two alias. This one we call it Java 8 and export Java Home to 1.8. After that, we show the Java version because it will make clear which version you currently are. And we also make that Java 11. And here specify the version Java 11. So that's all. Save the file and close it. Open terminal and use this shell file. Now we source this file. Just run this shell file. Okay, now we can just uh, simply see what is currently Java Pass. We can Java Home. See, currently we, our default Java is um, 1.8 version. But if you make it Java 11, you see you will get this Java 11 version. And then if you, s you can see again which Java we currently are. You see, we are currently in Java 11. And you all can also switch back Java 8. Yeah, we go back to the Java 8 version. So that's all. Install multiple Java is simply so easy. 
Thanks very much for listening.